I did some research on this. So Timu only launched in September 22, but now has 51 million US customers. Sheen's fashion and lifestyle app has achieved, I think it was 14 million downloads. So they're serious rivals to Amazon. Uh, even by last June, according to a US congressional report, the two e-tailers were responsible for almost 600,000 packages per day arriving in the US. We're assuming that has increased substantially this year. What impact is this having in the US, Eric? Uh, Amazon really does have a new rival in town, doesn't it? Yes, Mike. Uh, Shein and Timu, um, also AliExpress and the you know other Chinese e-commerce sellers are, are shipping about 1.4 million packages a day into the US according to US customs. And you know they're able to do this by taking advantage of the U.S. rules that allow duty-free entry for shipments with uh, under $800 in value. So what the, a lot of these Chinese platforms yeah. like to do is fly the packages into multiple gateway airports that kind of act as a multi-tiered fulfillment center network with the lower parcel zone charges than just opening one central U.S. fulfillment center and then um, distributing from there. So they they kind of drop the packages into the U.S. Postal Network or FedEx Network or a regional courier on arrival. And we're basically seeing more of this split zone shipping to distribute more widely into the U.S., basically straight from the airports. And uh, then they, you know, they don't need to store in multiple warehouses and they can avoid the drags and U.S. ports. But, uh, you know, Congestion is not a, really a problem at the airports per se, but U.S. Customs is quite overwhelmed. Their clearance systems weren't really intended to facilitate 450 million packages a year direct to consumer. And then there's the concern about on U.S. Customs part that these small packages don't undergo the same security checks or it's harder to, to track them and to put them through the system either for a data collection or for security screening for problematic or dangerous shipments. So this is a, a larger shipment that goes through a freight forwarder. So the U.S. airports are managing to cope with all this extra traffic. Customs is struggling. Presumably someone's making money out of all the, of the last mile deliveries and some, it's a bit of a boon for somebody, isn't it? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a lot of these kind of regional couriers at the big gateway airports, uh, road feeder services, but you've got these forwarders that handle numbers and turn the package over to a FedEx or a UPS, but now these regional couriers can do the customs clearance and the final mile delivery right to the customer's door. And, and they also benefit, I think, from what Shein and Timu do in China, where they kind of pre-sort and pre-bundle packages that go into the same zip code so they don't have to do it when it gets here in the U.S. So that simplifies their job on the inbound side.